Welcome, students, to the Most Common Errors in Writing rubric presentation. This video will help you do a better job on your teacher and student rubrics for your performance assessment project. This handout is available in the Performance Assessment Project folder under Major Assignments, and it's also available in this week's module. If you wish to do a good job on your performance assessment project, or you need to revise it, review this guide. When I give you feedback, I'm going to reference a number of the error on this guide, and there's a full explanation in this video and on the handout for what you need to do. Make your revisions on the original document, keep the comments and grading rubric in place, highlight your changes in some way, and save your file. This is for a revision. Submit it to the original link on the course site. Let's go through five common errors that many students make when they're first starting to learn how to write rubrics. If I reference error number one, it means your rubric has a lack of consistency in the criteria across rubric rows. Criteria are of the rows. So in the example you see, when we talk about the chocolate chip cookie, I've given you a criterion of chocolatey nature of the cookie. That's the criterion. Let's look at the levels. One is not satisfactory. Cookie has no chocolate taste. Two is satisfactory. Cookie has one or two chocolate chips. Do you see how we switched from no chocolate taste to one or two chocolate chips? Those are different measures. Three is good is Cookie has some chocolate taste. Now we're back to chocolate taste. And four, the highest level is cookie is perfect. What does that mean? So we're switching all over the place between how we measure the chocolatey nature of the cookie. Instead, it's better to try to find an objective measure. Look at the bottom where I've corrected it. Now, chocolatey nature of the cookie is measured by the number of chocolate chips in the cookie, zero to one, two to three, four to five, more than five. Notice that's a very objective way to measure the chocolatey nature of the cookie. Most of the raters would agree on that measure. And it's consistent across the row with how we measure it. That's what I mean by a consistency. If you get a a rubric error number two, it means your rubric is too subjective. Let's take a look at the example here. Suppose we're trying to assess the taste of the cookie. One, cookie is bitter. Two, cookie is not bitter but not sweet. Three, cookie is somewhat sweet. Four, cookie is very sweet. I might taste a cookie and you might taste a cookie and we would disagree on whether it's bitter or sweet. That is because you're choosing a subjective criterion. Instead, it's better to make it objective. Look at the example on the bottom. One, cookies were made with no sugar. Two, cookies were made with some sugar but with less than a one-eighth of a cup of sugar. Three, cookies were made with between one-eighth and one-half cup of sugar. Four, cookies were made with more than a half cup of sugar. Now this is assuming knowledge of how the cookies were made, but do you see how this measure is more objective than leaving it up to someone's opinion about what is bitter or what is sweet? If you receive an error message three, it means that your rubric's number ranges overlap or do not cover all possible values. Let's see what this means. Suppose we were trying to assess the number of chocolate chips. In the top example, we have not satisfactory zero to one chips, satisfactory three to four chips, good four to five chips, excellent six to seven chips. You might notice that certain numbers are left out or not covered in these ranges or overlap. For example, what if you had a cookie with two chips? Where would that go? You can't put it in one because that's only zero to one and you can't put it in two because that's three to four chips. 
where would four chips go? That's an example of an overlapping range. It could go under two satisfactory because that's three to four chips, or it could go under good because that's four to five chips. Finally, where would eight or more chips go? There's no place for that to go. Make sure your number ranges don't overlap and cover all possible cases. See the example at the bottom. One now is zero to one chips. Two is two to three chips. Three is four to five chips. And four is more than five chips. This is an example of a number range where nothing overlaps and it covers all possible example, uh, cases. If you receive an error number four, it means you used inappropriate words in your rubric. We want to be encouraging to students and not discouraging. Look at the example at the top. This has to do with the labels at the top of the columns. One, poor, that's a poor choice of words because it's telling the student they did poor work. You might think they did poor work, but there are better ways to couch that. For example, one needs improvement. So avoid words like poor or bad or uh, inferior because they needlessly label students' work as bad. Finally, if you received an error number five, it means your rubric was written in the wrong order. Many people write rubrics from four to one or from the highest number first to the lowest number, but the standard convention is to start from the left, go to the right, putting the lowest number on the left. So one needs improvement, two satisfactory, three good, four excellent. That's it. Any questions, please feel free to email me.